Hi, I'm Bianca White and welcome to Everyday People, the show about average Americans who are anything but ordinary. Today on the show, we will be interviewing two very special guests. Our first guest is Benson. Benson has an addiction to silk flowers. That's right, he cannot go anywhere without the accompaniment of his flowers from his very special old friends. Hi, Benson. Hi. What do you have to share with us today? I'm not going to share these with you, but these are some of my favorite flowers from my house. Really? So are these from your collection? Yeah, these are actually some of my favorites. They actually stay in the back of my Dodge Neon most of the time, just in case I need them. Okay, so would you mind if I held one? Um, I, maybe you can touch it. Just a little? No. Okay. Maybe. maybe later? Maybe. Okay, so um, tell us about how your fascination with silk flowers began. Well, I was 11 years old and my mom was a florist and she would go to the cemetery downtown and replace some of the old flowers on the graves with new ones. Mm -hmm. So in the car ride home, I would hold on to the flowers just like this, you know, and uh, when I got home, I placed them on my nightstand next to my bed. And every morning I woke up and they looked as good as they did the day before. They never died. And I just really liked that and I liked that they were pretty and I just collected them ever since. Okay, so what is it about these flowers that makes them so special? Um, well, this side right here is from a grave in Connecticut uh, of a man named Mark Smith who died when he was 16. And this other half is from a couple from Alabama named the Schwartzes. Mm -hmm. So they're all special to me in different ways. Okay, so just so the audience will know, these flowers that you collect are from the graves of the deceased. Yeah, that's, that's what I do. I love it. And you steal most of them. Yeah, I used to only steal them uh, until I started feeling bad about it. So I got a job for a little while, I mowed some grass for a little while, and then I kind of replaced some of the flowers with new ones that I stole. But it just wasn't as much fun, so I just went back to stealing them again, and that's what I do now. Okay, so you collect flowers from grave sites of tragic accidents, Yes. Right? Yeah. I usually like to read the newspaper and read the obituaries mm -hmm. to, you know, find situations that I can be attached to. Like, last week um, I collected some flowers from a site of a man who was riding his unicycle down a railroad track when he was struck by a train. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed those flowers and then uh, a few weeks ago there was a couple, um, the wife had died years earlier and she was supposed to be buried next to her husband when he died, but he remarried and was buried next to his second wife. And you know, I was like, that's crappy. So I went and took those flowers too. All right. So do you have any family or friends? No, not really a whole lot of family or friends. I do have a mom and I used to have an old lady friend named Joanna who would come over, mm -hmm. but uh, she couldn't handle all the flowers because she had a dust allergy and the dust just got to her too bad. So. So when people do come to your house, what do they say about your collection? Well, not too many people come over. Uh, like Joanna can't come over anymore, and my mom used to come over six nights a week for dinner, but she uh, thought that my obsession with flowers was weird or childish, so she doesn't really come over that much anymore. So. Okay, well thank you, Benson. Thank you. Our next guest is Gertrude McAllister. Gertrude has an obsession with collecting copious amounts of toilet tissue that she uses to make handmade accessories and crafts out of. Hi Gertrude. Hi Bianca. I'm so happy to see you. Um, I brought you some toilet paper if you wanted to we make a craft make with me later. After the show? Later on? Later maybe? on in the show. Okay. okay. Okay, so take us back to the very beginning when your fascination began. Well, I'll never forget when I was eight years old, I was walking down the hallway in my elementary school and the janitor had left the closet door open mm -hmm. and there was just piles of toilet paper everywhere and I just couldn't, something came over me, I couldn't stop myself. I just grabbed as many as I could hold and took them home. Really? So do you um, like paper towels or Kleenex? Paper towels are for cleaning windows and Kleenex is for blowing your nose and for everything else I just really like toilet paper. Okay. So do you have a brand or type of toilet paper that you prefer? You know, I like all the different brands and types mm -hmm. and textures. See, like this one's kind of hard and this one's a little bit softer. and I just like all different kinds. So you steal most of your toilet paper? I do. I steal it just like I did that first time. I never really buy it. 
I just always take it. It's a lot easier to take toilet paper. People okay. don't really notice when it's missing. So, you don't spend money on it at all? No, I never spend money on toilet paper. Okay. I just rescue it. So, do either of you think that your obsessions affect your everyday lives? Um, yeah, I guess mine definitely affects my life in some ways. I'm, uh, like, I don't really have that much time for family or friends because I devote all my time to these little guys, mm -hmm. and I don't have time for much else. This is my whole life right here in my hands, so I don't really have much of the social life other than that. What about you, Gertrude? Yeah, it takes a lot of time out of my day to just spend really good quality time with my toilet paper. You know, to just mm -hmm. hold it, just touch it. Sometimes I'm late for work because I just can't seem to put it down. Oh, work. So what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a florist. A florist? Yeah, I'm actually a janitor like flowers. downtown. Can I touch them? You two might have a connection. <laughs> Think you might want to hook up after the show? I don't know. <laughs> it's, no. it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> All right. Well, um, do either of you consider yourself weird or different, or do you think you have a problem? Do you think I'm weird? No. Well, I don't understand why you would ask that question if you don't think I'm weird. I don't think you're weird. I was just asking. Do you love flowers? I love flowers. Me too. So you're weird. I guess we can both be weird. Okay. So Gertrude, do you think you're weird or different? You know, it might be weird that I spend more time with toilet paper than I do human beings. Mm -hmm. Or it could be awesome. It could mean that I'm the coolest person you've ever met. I think that is. That's weird. probably what it is. That I is mean, weird. if I had to guess. So have you ever... T seen a psychologist or sought help? No. No, I hate psychologists and I don't I don't ever need to see someone who thinks they're so much smarter than me because they went to school and tell me that my flowers are shouldn't be so important to me mm -hmm. because I can see the flowers clearly sitting on his desk. So obviously he loves flowers too. He's just jealous of the stronger bond that I have with mine. So no. Probably what what about you? Uh you know, I did see a psychologist once. He did the most horrible thing. He made me leave my toilet paper in his office. He wouldn't let me take it home. Oh my God. It was so terrifying. <laughs> well, it's okay, Gertrude. You Just have your toilet paper now. I do have it now. I do have it now. All right, now we will do a demonstration of how to make a toilet paper headband. Toilet paper head, well look, I brought you this prototype. Mm -hmm. This is what they usually look like. They just are braided. Do you mind holding it up for the audience to see? Oh yeah. Um, that's Here nice. you go. It's got it braids, nice, beautiful braids. If you'd like to make one, I brought you some I'd love toilet to paper. Make one. Uh, here you go. Just pass those on over. Thank you. And you just take the ends and twist them together. It's a lot of tissue. Yeah, you need a lot for it to fit all the way around your head. You know. Uh, okay. I make all kinds of things with toilet paper. I actually made this toe ring, too. Um, gets a little sweaty down there. You can't Have really you wear it. Have you ever thought about selling the stuff that you make? You know, I tried that once, but I don't know why people don't want to pay money for toilet paper accessories. I mean, I think they look better than stuff you see in stores. I mean, look at this fashionable hairpiece that I made. It is nice. You've never seen anything like this. It is nice. So, yeah. how would I start this off? Okay, we'll just take the ends and twist them together. Twist it together. Yeah, twist them together. And then just braid them, you know? Braid it. Or if you had two pieces, you could just twist, twist it. it. Either one looks good, I think. Either one would be really, really cute to wear. I think I want to braid it. Okay. You know, you can even make these formal. You can wear them to like formal events. I'm sure you go to fancy parties sometimes. Sometimes. Benton, do you think we could um, decorate our headbands with one of your flowers? I don't know. If you're really gentle, I was actually, Bianca, going to give you uh, this. Or not, I was going to let you borrow this. Really? Since only because you're a TV host for TV Land, so <laughs> you can't have it, but if you'll give it back to me after the show, that'd be well, nice. Well, thank you. It's a really pretty flower. I'll make sure I return it as soon as the show is over. You know, I like flowers, too. Thank you. Okay. Well, this one is dying, but you can hold it. Well, thank right, you. guys. Well, I think we're done here. Mm. So. You can decorate this flower with toilet paper, too. Just be careful, please. Well, oh, I'm always careful. I'm a florist. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today's show. We'll see you next time with Everyday People. And don't forget to go online and catch behind-the-scenes footage and extra interviews.